Y'all, this story that I'm getting ready to share with you all is absolutely wild. And dare I say, it is one of the main reasons why so many of the men today do not want to get heavily invested or involved with a woman because at any given time, especially in today's climate, a woman could try to replace you, right? Um, it's very rare that you come across a woman that is sincerely and genuinely invested into you as the man, you know, to where it doesn't matter how much money the next guy has, or it doesn't matter how popular the next guy is. It doesn't matter how sexy he is, how fine he is. You know, I'm going to stick it out with you because I'm loyal to you. It's very rare that men in today's society, in today's climate, come across very loyal women and women that are um, going to respect them and honor them as the man in their relationship, as the man in their lives. And just to be honest with you all, um, a lot of females end up fumbling this way because they don't understand or they don't know or realize at that time just how good they really have it. You know, you're thinking that the grass is going to be greener on the other side with this guy over here. And lo and behold, he doesn't want you. He's not taking care of you or honoring you or loving you like that man that you tried to replace him with did. You know, you're just another fling. You're just another notch on his belt. He's not going to be invested into you like that man was. But you felt like because he was more popular, more successful, more attractive, whatever the case may have been, that he would be the better option. And again, a lot of y'all get fumbled and humbled like that. Okay. Um, and so I think it's important that we start off by saying, listen, ladies, if you have a good man, it's probably very wise of you. Okay. Not probably. It is very wise of you to appreciate that man, hold on to that man, because I'm going to tell you right now, you have no idea how many other women are out there waiting for you to mess up, waiting for you to fumble, waiting for you to get humble because they would die to have that man to be a part of their lives. You know, and a lot of the times we don't realize it, what we have until it's gone or until we see other women with it. You know what I'm saying? Or until, you know, we place ourselves into a position to where, you know, the guy that we thought was better ends up being a POS. You know what I'm saying? So, be very careful because this story that I'm getting ready to share with you all is a very teachable moment for us to get into that really illustrates what is at play in today's climate and what we need to do differently and do better. Okay. But y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Um, first things first, I want to give you all a little background about what I'm getting ready to show with you all or share with you all. Um, so apparently you had this young couple that went to a very popular guy's concert. I'm personally unfamiliar with him. Um, but I guess his name is, uh, Yamaha. What's his name? You are? I want to call him Yamaha. I don't know what the heck. Hold on. Y'all let me look it up. But this very young couple ended up going to, uh, a concert, um, from an artist by the name of Amale. And apparently this young lady was a very big fan of his to where, you know, she didn't mind just leaving her boyfriend in the dust whenever that opportunity arrives for her to get on the stage with this uh, artist and twerk on him and grind on him and do very suggestive acts on him. She didn't care. She was like, look, that is my idol. That is my dream guy. And so if he tells me to go, I'm going to go. So the backstory behind it is you have a young couple that went to a concert, obviously, and apparently um, the woman in the relationship is a big fan of this artist by the name of uh, Amale. And I guess Amale invited this young lady to come on stage to where he's going to do, you know, a very sexually suggesting act 
with her. Now, mind you, she's in a relationship. She's there with her man. You know, they're front row and center. And so she didn't hesitate to hop on stage with this guy and pretty much disrespect the heck out of her boyfriend and out of her relationship. Um, Y'all like the video, show the video and subscribe. And, and let's just play this small little clip of, you know, what transpired during this concert. Hold on. Let's, let's take it back. Are y'all seeing this? Now, this is only a small little dosage, a small little clip um, and snippet of what really went down. Okay. I saw some other clips that were longer in length to where she was bent over. She was going down on him. Her head was down there. You know, he gripping and slapping and taking the hips and humping. Like it was a whole ordeal. And mind you, the boyfriend is watching this take place right before his eyes in real time, right? So let's take it back a little bit just so y'all can really see what's going down. Like, this is crazy. Can you imagine going to a concert with your girlfriend and then the artist that just so happens to be a male invites your girl onto stage and she is perfectly content and comfortable enough to disrespect you like this by doing all of these suggestive acts? Like, come on, you all. But again, like the video. Let's play it again. Now, do y'all see her boyfriend? Like, this is the, the face of embarrassment. This is the, the face of shame. This is the face of, dang, like, is she really doing all this? And people are watching. You know, like, this is this is happening right in front of him people know that she was with him they they know and so can you imagine as the man trying to save face and trying not to come off like oh you know it's not that big of a deal yet you're pretty much melting and dying inside like look at his face you all come on can you imagine like even the little smirk that he has this is the smirk of you know i can't believe she doing this like wow you know, this is crazy. That is the, this is crazy smirk. You know what I mean? And then he's shaking his head like he feels a way about this as he should, rightfully so. Look at this. And this is the mild version, you all. She was doing a lot worse. So then after, I guess she got a lot of backlash behind pretty much disrespecting her boyfriend, you know, in 4K like that, you know, she took it upon herself to make a response video, pretty much trying to clear her name and, you know, essentially apologize to this guy that she was with and, you know, make it not be as bad as it really was. Sorry, sis, there's no cleaning this up. Okay, you are clearly a for the streets type of female and no man should trust a chick like this because clearly whenever a better quote unquote opportunity arises for you, you're going to be the first one monkey branching, you know, and you really do give a lot of women, black women, women of color in particular, a bad name and a bad rep because, you know, y'all make it look like, you know, any woman that looks like you right? It's going to be a gold digger, going to be a monkey brancher, not going to be faithful, not going to be loyal, you know, and you're just a thotty thought cake that's for the streets, you know, and, and I really hate that, but this is what we are presented with and y'all need to do better, but apparently she got a lot of heat behind disrespecting that man like that, and so now she's trying to come back and apologize and beg for his forgiveness, but lady, the damage is already done. And let me say this as well. And y'all like the video. Okay. So real talk. A lot of chicks are not apologetic until it does not work out in their favor. Let me say it again. A lot of chicks are not remorseful, are not regretful, are not apologetic 
sympathetic or empathetic until it does not work out in her favor. When things backfire, the grass turns out to be brown and not green, or it's green, but it's really spray paint. Then she wants to say, oh, I am so sorry. I just didn't know. Like, I, it was something that was innocent. I didn't mean any harm by it. Please forgive me. I guarantee y'all. Hold on, y'all. Let me, let me pause for a second. I guarantee y'all that if Amale would have took her home, hold on, let's get into it. I guarantee y'all that if Amale, I hope I'm saying his name right, um, would have taken her home, you know, posting on his Instagram story or shouted her out or took her on his tour bus, whatever the case may have been, she would have said nothing. She would have said, oh, well, y'all, y'all got all this smoke from me, but guess who I'm laid up with? I'm laid up with, I'm a, I'm a lay right now. So y'all can hey all y'all want, but I leveled up. I upgraded. Mark my words. I guarantee you there would be no apology video. There would be no trying to clear her name. No, no. She would feel so good and validated in what she did because after all, she was able to quote unquote level up and get a better man. And again, ladies, this is why so many men do not trust you, don't want you and refuse to take you seriously. But let's get into it. Let's hear what she has to say as far as why she was pretty much out here disrespecting this man and being a hoe. Okay, let's hear it. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hi, everyone. Um, I saw I was going to do story time. I tell my side of the story because the amount of hate that I'm getting, I'm getting... I'm getting called all types of things that I've never even heard before. Like, it's getting a bit scary. And I keep coming and keep coming. Like, whoa. So, I really want to explain myself um, and address a few rumours as well. But, obviously, before I get that started, I want to publicly apologise to him. Obviously, me and him, we've had private conversations where we spoke. But since it was public, I think the right thing for me to do is to publicly apologize to him like now again she's trying to save face and come off like you know i didn't mean any harm and i just didn't know any better but what i really don't like is how she's not saying his name though she keeps saying oh i just want to apologize to him you know to him say his name sis this man has to live with this level of shame and embarrassment due to your actions, due to your antics. Say his name. Let the world know I apologize to fill in the blank. Don't say to him, put an address on it. Okay? I don't like that. I hate when y'all publicly disrespect somebody and then you want to come through and save face for yourself and want to quote unquote apologize but you're not even acknowledging the person or the man that you need to be apologizing to put some respect on it you already blatantly disrespected him the least you could do is acknowledge his name say his name and say what you are apologizing for say for example hey eric you know, my husband's name is Eric. I'm going to say Eric. Hey, Eric, I want to publicly apologize to you for going on stage with this young man and pretty much getting piped down, okay, in 4K in front of your face and pretty much acting as though you did not matter, you did not exist, and like you didn't have any feelings. I apologize for that, Eric. Something, but to just come on here like, oh, I'm just getting attacked and I'm getting so much hate. And so I want to tell my side of the story. Girl, we don't care about your side of the story. You're foul. You're foul. There's no way you can slice and dice this to make this okay. That's first things first. So it's disrespectful in and of itself for you to even feel like you do have a side to tell. We don't care. The only thing you needed to do, ma'am, was come on here and say, look, fill in the blank. 
I apologize for doing X, Y, and Z, one, two, and three. I was out of bounds for that. I was out of line and left it at that. But for you to come through like, whoa, it's me. Let me tell my side. We don't care about your side. Okay. That's how I know your apology is fake and, and, and full of it in and of itself. You're only doing that to make it not look as bad as it really was. But I have to say that she should have at least put his name on it. That's all I'm going to say about it. But let's continue. And y'all like the video. That was bad. But, you know, I made a, it was honestly a mistake. I just, if I knew this would like get this far, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even go to a concert. I don't know. Because this is not worth the hate that I'm receiving. But yeah since it was public i want to publicly apologize to him so yeah let's just get straight into like the, the story uh, the rumors actually i want to address the rumors first so why am i okay first of all first of all who's fafa no who's that person who ever said that my name is fafa can you come no come please because how I literally, I literally went on stage. I literally said my name is Jess. I said it twice. So I don't know how people are getting this in, like information from. That's not my name, please. Now, I got to pause her again because this irritates me. She's supposed to be so remorseful about what she did as far as disrespecting that man that she was with, right? Yet she comes on talking about i need to give my side of the story that indicates in and of itself to me that she feels like she's not really wrong y'all just don't understand all of the details so it kind of cancels out the apology that's first things first but then she wants to go on to let you all know what her real name is we don't care my name is not fafa my name is jess if i were you jess I would be so freaking embarrassed. I wouldn't want anybody to know my real name. Again, you're giving it away, Jess, that you really don't care. You wanted the, the clout and the attention without the backlash. You wanted to be able to go on that stage and disrespect that man and still go home with them and, and still have access to him. So for you to come on here and try to pretty much let the world know your name, it gives clout chase. It gives, you know, you like the, the attention. You just don't like the kind of attention that you're receiving because if anybody else was in your position and they really felt attacked, how you're claiming that you feel so attacked, why would you even want the world to know your name in this manner, in this type of situation? Again, this is why a lot of men just don't care about you females. It's all about attention. It's all about clout. You don't care about being loyal, faithful, respectful, you know, and... and <laughs> You just all about yourself. The first thing that she wants to clear up is, oh, y'all got my name wrong. My name is Jess. Follow me on Instagram. Ma'am. Ma'am. You're out of touch with this. You're telling it on yourself and you're exposing your true intent. Your true intent is to gain public favor and to maybe boost up your social medias that's what it's giving oh i got the eyes on me i got the attention but it's the wrong attention let me just clear things up that way you know i can get a whole bunch of attention for the right reasons quote unquote there is no right reason in this jess you're a foul female oh anyway let's continue y'all like the video share the video and subscribe am i off base with this or is it given I'm I'm looking for clout? Is it given I'm really not sincere with my apology? I just want you all to like me. <sighs> Let's continue. Like the video, y'all. Like, no. Um, and also people saying that he's the one that bought the tickets. Who I think who who told you that as well? 
who said he's the one that bought the tickets? It was me. I'm the one that bought the tickets. I wouldn't mean him to have a good time because, you know, like, we're young. Like, real young. So, like, I thought, this is a good thing to do. Let me just take my mind to a concert. Let's have fun. Like, that's it. There's nothing wrong with that. I beg, since when is it illegal to do so? Since when? That just tells you a lot because us women, we can do things as well. Like, if you want to take my man out, I'll take my man out. Oh, you're right, Jess. It does tell a lot. She said, I'm the one who took him on uh, out to this concert. I'm the one who bought the tickets. Right? Now, that does speak values to me, especially in today's climate. In today's climate, a lot of women are taught to never treat a man, never take him out, never do anything for him. You are the prize. And so he needs to be catering to you only. So, Jess. For you to go against that narrative and say, no, this is somebody that I feel is worthy enough to be taken out and shown a good time. To me, Jess, that speaks volumes to the quality of man you were with. Jess, was he a good man? So much so that even you as a woman, right, felt it necessary to treat him to a good time? to take him out, to pay for things for him. Oh, that's what that indicates to me. Because if he were not a good man, you probably wouldn't have felt compelled to do that. Let's continue. I'm just peeping game. So, so yeah, like I said, it was me. Anyways, also me and him, like we've had private conversations about going on stage with MLA because he does this at his shows. If you know... If you really know Omele, you will know that he's done this in his past, at his past concerts. Like, this is what he does. This is literally what he does. Like, it's nothing new. So, obviously, I said, you know, him at this conversation, like, I said to him, um, if I was to get called on stage, I'm going to go on stage. And he said, that's fine. Like, he's been saying that's fine. Like, we, me and him never, ever, ever had an issue with me going on stage. He she getting on my nerves. I'm going to be honest with y'all. She's she's trying to pretty much justify the level of audacity and disrespect that she exuded on that stage. She said, oh, you know, me and that guy, we already had prior conversation about me going on the stage, you know. And even if you did, ma'am, it still, in my humble opinion, did not grant you the right to go above and beyond and do all that freak nasty ish you were doing. It's one thing to go on stage and, you know, have a little cute moment, but to be pretty much pretending to be giving fellatio and, you know, backing it up and letting him pretty much manhandle you in those ways. Like, I'm pretty sure he did not expect for you to do all of that. Have a little cute moment on stage, sure. But to be violated like that? And be okay with it? I'm pretty sure he did not expect for you to do that. So again, ma'am, it's giving you're trying to justify the disrespect. I don't like it. I don't like it. Going on stage and then being violated and willingly violated is two different things, two different conversations. Come on, you all. And that's the thing I really don't like. They try to make it seem like men are just so controlling and so possessive and so insecure. That's not what it is. She said that they had a prior conversation. Like, look, if I get caught on the stage, I'm going to go on stage. The guy she was with said, that's fine. Which means he's not insecure. Go ahead. Have a good time. But it's levels and layers to that, though. You're missing key ingredients and details. Go on stage. Have a good time. Have your little cute, fun moment. You know, but don't do what you did, though. And y'all know damn well you're out of bounds for that. Because if your man went on stage with a, a very attractive, sexy female that he was attracted to, that he really liked as an artist or whatever the case may have been, and he started, you know, violating her and banging it from the back and, you know, doing all that, you would have a whole attitude. You would probably curse him out. And, and and walk off and, and I mean it would be a whole different type type of conversation. 
So I, I don't like the gaslight of it all. I don't like, you know, the double dungeon with the apology and the justification of it all. I don't like it. Ma'am, you're trash. You're trash. And you are why so many men are checked out and done. But let's continue. Let's let her finish up with this BS. Even when the time came, like, I think there was a video where people were saying, like, I wasn't even away from him. Like, I was pushing him away. Like, no. Like, oh, my lady, she looked at me and said, you, you said I want to you. This <laughs> I just got really excited because Omane is like one of my favorite artists. I don't care what anybody says. Like you all have favorite artists. I didn't want to hear that. Like so, he's mine. So obviously, he's my favorite artist, not mine. Um, so obviously, I got really excited. I was just genuinely happy. And obviously, when I moved to the south, hold on, y'all. Did y'all peep that though? She having Feridian slips and stuff. She she like, oh, you know, we all have our, our favorite uh, artist and he's mine. I mean, like, he's not mine, but like, he's my favorite art. She still is just infatuated with this guy. Like, <laughs> But I'm going to let her continue. Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. I, I just peeped that game. You know, and he's mine. Like I said, you all, if Amelie would have took her home, she wouldn't have cared at all. She wouldn't care what y'all said online. It's not mine. Um, so obviously, I got really excited. I was just genuinely happy. And obviously, when I moved to the side, um, that was when he asked me to go on stage. I was just waiting for, um, obviously, the security to get me out of the crowd. That's why I was even stood there. Hold on. Now, she gave her little side of the story and all of that right so now what i want to get into and this is what i kind of touched based on earlier is how you know she pretty much messed up and fumbled because now the guy that she was talking to that she violated and disrespected you know now he's back on the market and seemingly going to replace her so ma'am you did all of that just to end up alone by yourself. The man that you went on stage with doesn't care about you, is not acknowledging you, and you seemingly missed out on a good man, and now your good man is getting ready to be snatched up from you. So let's get into it, you all. And again, y'all like the video. Hold on, you all. I didn't share my screen. So the young man that she was with, he ended up going on, uh, is it Kai Sanat? I think that's how you say his name. He ended up going on to his show. And if you all are unfamiliar with Kai, he is very, very popular. He has a very, very popular uh, YouTube channel. I think he's very popular on, um, is it Twitch? I don't know if he like does video games, but anyway, he's very, very popular. He even had Nicki Minaj on his show the whole nine and so i'm guessing that kai came across this story and so he invited the young man that she was with to be a part of his podcast and give his side of everything and on top of that you know he's introducing this young man to more women and so let's get into that because that's something to really explore and highlight a lot of y'all end up fumbling y'all good men and then helping them out in the end. It's actually a blessing in disguise for them that you disrespected them and violated them and left them because now they have bigger and better opportunities presented to them. You know, who knows what could happen to this young gentleman's um, career or his social media platforms, you know, being exposed, you know, on this level, you know, and so, it's just a sad story, a, a very sad case of, you know, fumbling and getting humbling, okay? But let's get into that, you all. Like the video. It's real, man. And, and, and how long was y'all dating for? Dating? Less than a year. Wait, why did I hear seven years? 
So that was a rumor? It, it was a rumor? It was a rumor? Yeah, rumors. Okay. So there was a rumor. Okay. Yeah. So you just cleared it yeah. up? Less than a less than I don't know where they got the rumor. Yeah. I cleared it up now. Okay. Right. Yeah, clear it up. My here's my thing. My thing is for you to just clear up anything that you don't you feel what I'm saying? What people are saying and stuff like that. But also I want to yeah. make sure that after today, bro, we going we gonna support, you know, get your shit started because what happened on that shit? That shit's crazy to me. When I seen that, I was like, my brother, from mm. brother to brother, let me go help you out. Okay? So look, yeah. first things first, we got yeah. we got 20 beautiful ladies here for you. Okay? They came here for you. Whoopsie. Hold on, hold on. And see, this is something else that we did not anticipate as women in today's climate and society. We did not anticipate men coming together to help each other out and prop each other up and put each other up on game. You know, I think it's very important that we go there and highlight that as well. There are so many men out here that are forming this brotherhood to where they're looking out for one another. Like, yeah, bro, I know this happened to you, but I want to pick you up and big you up and put you on the right path because you didn't deserve that you know i mean you have men all over just coming together and helping each other out and i feel like that's beautiful and that's something that a lot of women like i said we didn't anticipate we didn't expect you know and i feel like that's also throwing a monkey wrench in a lot of these females games and tactics because you know men are helping each other to progress and move forward evolve and grow and that is helping them also to leave those females that are trash behind right like i just said you all kai has a huge platform and i hope i'm saying his name right he has a huge platform and he's like little brother i want to put you on and not only do i want to put you on but i have some beautiful women that would love to be a part of your equation i have some beautiful women that came just for you and y'all already know that that female that he was with is really feeling that because clearly he was a good man to her. Why else would she take him to a concert and she paid for it? You know, and something else I think is very important to highlight is the fact that, you know, a, a lot of men are taking their time with dating and relationships for this very reason, or they're just not dating and getting in relationships at all. But we're going to leave it over there. But a lot of these chicks in today's world complain about men stringing them along and taking their time and, you know, not really progressing forward to the next step, AKA getting married and all of that. And it's because of reasons like this. He said he had been dating this woman for less than a year. So can you imagine if he would have progressed forward with her to the next level in this time frame? He would have really been caught off guard because he didn't know her character. He's thinking that he has a good woman until something like this presents itself. And it's like, hold on. This is not what I expected. This is not what I thought you were. So ladies, this is another reason why men are not trying to hurry up and hop into anything seriously. This is why they're, they're taking their time to get to know you. It's why they're taking their time so they can really analyze what you're about. And time after time, unfortunately, y'all keep exposing yourselves and showing these men why they shouldn't date, why they shouldn't take you seriously, why they shouldn't rush. It's trash out here. It's complete trash out here. But nonetheless, this is what happened. And before you know it, we're stuck on stupid, looking stupid, begging for the man to take us back, begging for the man to forgive us, all because that grass on the other side turned out to be a bunch of weeds. Joke is on you, ladies. And honestly, I can't even feel sorry for you because you did it to yourself. You're the one who left behind that perfectly good man in relationship that could have blossomed. A lot of y'all are fumbling your husbands. All because you don't know how to be loyal. You don't know how to appreciate a good thing when you have it. And again, I cannot feel sorry for you. So do not be in your feelings. Do not be caught off guard when you see the next woman 
with the man that could have and probably should have been your husband. Don't get mad. Get glad with Gladware. Anyway, y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Um, do you feel like he should forgive that young lady and take her back? Do you feel like he dodged a bullet? Y'all let me know. I would love to hear all of your thoughts, feedback, and everything down below. Um, I look forward to reading what you all have to say. Me personally, I feel like this young lady is trash, and she is the reason why so many women, especially women of color, black women, get a bad rep and a bad name because they just make us look like gold diggers. They look us make us look like opportunists. And, and women that just cannot be loyal and faithful and appreciate a, a good man. I, I just really hate that. But y'all let me know. Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next dope discussion. Much love and peace to my crown heads.